What's up YouTube? Josh here with Josh and Hunter's Adventures. For all you precision reloaders out there that are interested in seeing how you can check case neck concentricity or bullet run out, I got the tool for you. It's called the Sinclair International Concentricity Tool. Let me tell you a little bit about this tool here. So basically what you have here is you've got a dial that is movable right here. You've got a couple bases here that has roller bearings in them. They are also adjustable, okay? And uh, this is removable, so if you had your own dial that you wanted to use, you, you can use that. Uh, so, let's see here what we got. I'm going to show you how I measure bullet run out, and then I'm also going to show you how you can measure case neck concentricity with this tool. I'm going to be doing it today with uh, 30-06 uh, loaded up 165-grain Nosler Acubons. Okay, so basically what you're going to want to do is when you get, I like to make sure that this, the right on the O give where it basically it would be. So I'm going to say about probably close to right in there. And, and to adjust these, almost like a half wing nut type, you just twist it and, and then lock it back. Um, what we have here. And we'll get it on about that right there. And then you're going to take the case and roll it, okay? Roll with your finger, and you can see there the gauge is moving. We're about mm, maybe maybe one thousandths on that one, uh, you can see. Uh, so pretty good there. Let's check another case here and see what we got. Again, just raise your uh, gauge up there and make sure you're all the way up against right here and then right here in front of this shoulder right here again just roll the case real slow you can see there we are about one thousandths on that one also we'll check one more and then we will show you how to check case neck concentricity with this gauge i mean we're maybe maybe half thousandth you can see it. if you move your finger off of this any whatsoever it is very very sensitive See how if you if you do any movement it will jump. So we're about about half thousandths on that one. Now again, this is a fired case, 30 out six. Um, we can check see the case neck concentricity. You will need to move this a little bit. Let's see what we got here. We need to come in just a little bit more. Okay, let's see just that about right there and we'll want to be up slightly a little bit right there in front of the shoulder again hopefully you can see the the gauge there uh, let's see if I can try to get it on zero there okay we're we're close to zero again you just roll with your finger and any any movement off the, your finger it will jump so we're about one thousandths on that fired case right there. We'll check one more. Okay, about, I'm going to say half to a thousandth. So that's basically how you do it. Uh, we'll check one more. It's a great little tool for yeah, we're about half thousandth. So pretty good on those 30 out six cases. That's Remington brass too. So like I said, uh, it's a great, great tool for checking bullet run out, um, your your case neck concentricity, and uh, like I said, you can buy these from Brownells. I'll put a uh, a link down in the description. These are are standard with this dial uh, for a hundred and nineteen dollars. Uh, I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I bought mine on sale for $89.99 from Brownells. Um, that, that, that's a pretty good deal. I know there are some other manufacturers that do make them. Uh, Hornady, they make a great one. You can actually slightly adjust your uh, uh, concentricity on that. You know, the bullet run, if it's, if it's off a thousandths, I think they make something where you can push it just a little bit to straighten it. Just, just a little bit. Uh, you wouldn't want to overdo that. Um, but again, this is a great tool for, uh, you know, 
A lot of times you can tell if you've got a problem with a dye that, that is causing you to have extreme run out. This right here will tell you and let you know real quick uh, what the problem is. If you, and, and you know, that way you can get it fixed. Uh, again, guys, you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. That way next time we put out a video that you know when we put out a video. As always, this is Josh. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.